Hey, well, some people are waking up to freezing rain and thunder this morning. More of that is expected to hit the state. Our Victoria Price joining us live this morning in Little Rock. And Victoria, looks like it's a little windy out there. It's probably making it feel a little colder out there, huh? <laughs> hey, good morning, Suzanne. It is windy. It's kind of freezing, drizzling. I don't even know what the meteorological term for that would be. Uh, and it's been a pretty slushy, messy, and kind of annoying commute for folks here in the Little Rock metro area. I will say, though, 630, this is where we've been camped at all morning. And it's been going pretty good for the past few hours. Um, right around 5 a.m., there was some slush on there that we could see, but the highway department was very quick about bringing out those uh, scraper trucks going back and forth, and they really scraped a lot of that slush off off of 630, I think, before most people got on the road for their morning commute. So that's some good news there. In the few hours we've been out here, only saw one car slide off the road, presumably because of some black ice. So it really hasn't been all that bad. Where I think the concern probably has been this morning and may continue to be this morning are on more of the surface roads, the side streets, the ones that did not get that slush scraped off in time. And when this freezing drizzle started to come down, maybe in the past hour or so, this is what happened. I'm going to show you a lot of the slush started to stick and now it's becoming like pretty solid and kind of icy. This is a big old thick chunk that used to just be loose slush. So uh, those roads that were not scraped beforehand could be a little icy, a little messier than some of the major thoroughfares. So definitely keep that in mind uh, when you're out and about this morning. But overall, it doesn't seem like a very thick layer of sheer ice formed on any of the streets near us, which I think is definitely uh, good news for a lot of drivers here this morning. Suzanne? It's good to see traffic flowing and everyone going at a good pace. Thanks so much, Victoria. We're going to turn right now to a Fox 16 crime alert. Two people accused of selling and using drugs in Lone Oak County are now behind bars. The Lone Oak County Sheriff's Narcotics Division and Ward Police found Stacy Freeman and Terry Gantz inside a home along with several guns, meth, and drug paraphernalia. Both face drug-related charges. The Sheriff's Office says they are expecting more arrests in this case. In a Fox 16 safety alert, Amazon.com says it will offer refunds to anyone who bought hoverboards on its website. The move comes amid growing concerns that the two-wheeled balance boards are not safe and is a fire hazard. The Consumer Produ Product Safety Commission is investigating more than three dozen instances of hoverboards smoking or bursting into flames. Experts are also urging users to wear safety gear, as some falls can be pretty serious. Faulkner County Sheriff's Office trying to stop a scammer who is claiming to be one of their well-known deputies. They've received multiple reports just this week from concerned people who have been called by someone claiming to be Lieutenant Chad Woolley. The victims were told stories such as you've missed jury duty or you have an outstanding warrant. And at that point, the caller reportedly tells them to go to a Kroger, load a card with cash, then read the card number to pay so you won't be arrested had some people believe these stories because they are believable. I mean, if you don't know the the inner workings of uh, the court system or the sheriff's department, uh, they can make it believable. But keep in mind, this is a scam. The sheriff's office encourages anyone who gets this call to write down the number, the person who called, the instructions and any names given and report the information immediately. A state legislature hoping for the Alcohol Beverage Control Board to change its liquor licensing rules after a liquor store in Saline County was built close to a daycare. A Saline County judge told Representative Julie Mayberry he would not remove the business's liquor license. Mayberry is now urging ABC to match an attorney general opinion from last June, and it states a daycare is a schoolhouse. If that does not work, Mayberry hopes the state legislature can make the change next year. An Arkansas police officer loses his home in a fire and donations are pouring in from across the nation. Arkadelphia police officer Aaron Abbott's family lost their home near Amity last week. As usual, some local donations started coming in, but his story spread and people around the country just started sending packages to help out. That help left him with a new perspective on the work he does serving his community every day. It's hard being on this, this side of the cycle. You know, we're used to helping and and to be actually in that position where we're receiving help it's you know it's it's different yeah they've had so much help come in that they have an excess donation collection that they plan to use for future families in need in their community
The Conway Police Department getting the approval from the City Council to hire 10 new cadets. This comes as the department tries to keep up with the rapid growth of the city. It took Conway Police about a year to get the green light on hiring more officers. The police chief praises the City Council for working with them to accomplish this goal.